Now we have a special guest here, Mr. Sahel Ahmad Khan, who is the alumni of the science department, who has done MSc physics from this department. Currently, he is serving a multinational tech company. Also, he is <coughs> working as a content creator in one of the largest tech uh, companies of India. His area of interest is quantum computing, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and data science. I request you, Mr. Sohail Ahmad Khan to please come on stage uh, and give a special talk for the students, give a motivational speech to the students and some inspiring words for the future of the students. Please welcome Mr. Sohail Ahmad Khan on the stage. Give yeah, a huge round of applause. Uh, thanks, Shahid, for, for these wonderful words and thanks everyone actually for this uh, really overwhelming response. Uh, First of all, I congratulate all of you being here, the students, and being in the physics at the uh, least. Uh, well, I would start uh, not giving any motivation lectures, rather I just want you guys to be uh, just self-conscious about what you're doing, right? So you all uh, are here in you know, physics, and it is, uh, for me, personally, seeing it as a privilege, that physics is basically, uh, I mean, you all must have heard it, that it's a toughest subject. It's also the uh, kind of a subject which is interlinking between maths, uh, computer science, and all of these subjects as well. So yeah, on that uh, on that side, I would like to congratulate all of you for taking physics first of all. Now the fact is that all of you have to understand as well. So if you're taking the physics, there are a lot of opportunities as well. Besides, there are opportunities in a sort of a traditional way, like we have a teaching, we have a physics uh, research and professorship and all of those, there are other fields as well where we all can excel and there is a need for physics guys to be in those fields as well. Uh, so to name a few of those uh, subjects, basically we have machine learning. So if you guys are um, quite aware of the fact that we have selfless, uh, sorry, we have those uh, driverless cars, right? So they are based on a concept called as, uh, I mean, concept of machine learning where you let the machines to learn a lot of things, okay? Uh, the field is largely dominated by the computer scientists, but I strongly believe that it's not a field for them, but rather it's a field of computer scientists, but the physicists as well. So physicists have a central role in present day uh, sort of uh, technology as well, and we are very limited, I mean, in the modern, uh, and, uh, and also in the foreign countries, we do have universities which are really encouraging sort of multidisciplinary approach, where the students from physics, mathematics are going into the IT, and those in the IT are also coming into the physics. And that is where I would want all of you to take a, a cognizance of your degree as well, understand basically what physics is, and try to understand there are a lot of fields are also available where we have to just see our potential as well. Take an example, as I said, machine learning, artificial intelligence, computer, quantum computing is going to be the next big thing for all of us. We know that we basically have a chip shortage, right? So, semiconductors are very limited. And uh, by most, I know all of you know it, uh, may have studied in the electronics as well. So, the chip shortage is uh, a real thing because we have uh, limited resources and we also have the computations which are increasing in grade, right? So you remember we used to have Nokia phones which are having something like 250 MBs of memory. Now we have something like 256 GBs of memory or I guess for every one of us, right? So because the computational, computational problems are increasing, so are the demands for some modern type of computing. And this could all, only be solved by uh, quantum computing. Okay, so that's going to be the next feature, but um, I don't see that most of us are really interested in quantum computing and understanding that field. Okay, so uh, who would best be suited for these kind of fields, for these kind of multidisciplinary fields, are obviously going to be the physicists first up. Okay, so yes, this is kind of an approach we all must have. This is a kind of an approach we all have to develop going into the field. I know you have some limited time as well here, and uh, I believe that you would have a self-assessment of yourselves as well and look beyond the realm which is a traditional one. Okay, so that's it, guys. I guess uh, cool. Uh, I wish all of you a very very happy luck for your future. Thanks, everyone. Right. So see, uh, for example, your guys are still, uh, I mean, all of you have completed your MSc in physics, right? And we all have this illusion that physics guys will go out and be into physics, right? 
But if you look at your degrees, if you look at your scorecard and run script, there are a lot of things that are in your run script, right? From your statistical mechanics, uh, then you have quantum mechanics, mathematical physics, uh, you have quantum computing also. So see, there are other fields as well which you can apply and you can excel as well, right? So this physics degree rather gives you a kind of a universal ability to adopt in other degrees as well. Taking an example of, uh, let's say, statistical mechanics. So you use a lot of mathematics there and a lot of statistics as well. And uh, if you guys have uh, noticed that we have the fields like finance, uh, share market or uh, what we say the world markets rather. So they extensively use this knowledge as well. In uh, our European countries as well. So we have seen a lot of physics students actually going into the field of finance as well. And they're excelling there as well. It is so because they have a rational thought in their minds that yes, this physics degree has given them a lot of uh, ideas about the finance world as well. So this is the kind of a dimensionality we all need to develop as and when we go into the, our degrees and as and when we acquire our subject knowledge as well. We need to have this dimensionality in our minds that we can also be looking at the other multidisciplinary uh, fields as well. And there are other fields like quantum computing is there. And uh, we also have uh, the quantum informatics and the related subjects as well. So I would request all of you guys to be very rational, try out and act the opportunities and uh, try to find out your fit in those opportunities as well. Uh, that's it. I guess.